When you look at this market, when you look at where we are with retail sales, we've had a number of indications from the stocks that there's a bifurcation in retail. So set me up for the data today. Well, the retail sales today are, are supposed to be um, reasonably upbeat, <clears throat> showing consumers bounced back in the month of May, Manus, after a bit of a lull in April. Now, there are a few reasons for that. There was a holiday in May. There's been a lot of store discounting. Uh, people are looking at uh, discounting by the big auto dealers as well. The inflation data showed uh, price cutting in certain areas like electronics, for example. So all told, that's expected to show that the uh, retail sales came in on a positive side for the month. However, under the bonnet, as you mentioned, a lot of analysts are still talking about uh, increasing credit card debt, the fact that consumers have run down their pandemic, pandemic era savings, of course, no real relief on the interest rate front in sight, at least not yet. So even though the May retail sales are expected to be somewhat uh, OK, uh, broadly speaking, the economy continues to slow down. We are seeing that in the jobs market and it's expected to be, uh, continue to be a theme for consumer spending going forward as well.